Next is Yebo Yetu, a ring fenced special purpose vehicle, just like all the others, which owns 3.44% of Vodacom South Africa. So that's the asset which it has a title to. Of course, it has to deal with the cost of funding between now and then. But we know that Vodacom itself has done well. So since 2008 and its launch, the value of the Yebu Yetu shares in issue has grown to just under 1 billion rands. So Owen, strong dividend flows from Vodacom and a generally upward trending price. That sounds as though that would have been a good outcome then for the underlying in yes, this entity. Yes, yeah. I agree with you. It's, 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 it's the last one that we believe that uh, is, is worth having a look at in, 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 in the space. You know, Vodacom has done well. It's a uh, dominant player in South Africa, continues to do well. Yep. We we think, obviously, with Mtel Tonya to coming in at uh, MTN and going out and saying they also want to start pushing aggressively yep. and dominating Six South Africa. Six-month chart of that thing there. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, it's... it's Moving up, up gently. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a gentle move upwards. But, uh, you know, liquidity always is a problem in this, sect in this sector. Mm -hmm. And that's why a stock like uh, the SASLB shares would have been punished this much yep. when the price of oil was declining. Um, I think that Vodacom remains worth, worth, worth holding on to yep. if, you, if you can get involved there. Yeah, yep. okay, good. So we're hot on that one. Yeah. Got a lot of open road. Yes. Nice to be involved good with management as well. Good yep. management, doing new things, aggressively pushing data. And mm -hmm. uh, I think they're in a good space. Okay, good. So we're hot on the Yebu Year 2 scheme.